Oh man, first off, man, I want to thank God, man. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just blessed to be in, even uh, in this position, man. It's surreal. Um, I want to thank my players, man. Uh, the one for them, we wouldn't even be here anyway. Go, uh, I, I just appreciate them buying what we were trying to do when we started out on this journey. Um, thank the community for coming out. I just want to thank everybody that supported throughout the, my whole team here. Uh, but most important, brother, shout out to my kids, man, for pulling it out. Coach, at the start of the second half, Cecilia came out and they got a touchdown, and then you guys had a little bit of a false start on offense. You know, it started to feel like what happened last time in this game. Correct. What was the message to the team at that point to really just calm them down and understand that they could come back and win? Well, uh, and you know, when you know, games like this, Cecilia's a great ball club, man. Coach Scans does a great job with his club, man. Uh, but at the same time, when, when stuff like that happened, you got to keep your cool and, and just ride the wave, man. You know, the, the, I'm talking about the wave of emotion. Because this game is about highs and lows, man. So at the end of the day, I'm just glad that those guys, I just told them to settle down. It's okay. And let's just keep churning and keep jumping at the bits, man. And we eventually pulled it out. Coach, you're in the back. What makes uh, Deshaun so, so tough to take down? And Deshaun, you can tack on to that throughout the entire time. Okay. Uh, I, I think what, number one, he gets better. He's what one of I would call a rhythm back. Deshaun gets better with the game as the game goes on, man. Uh, once he starts filling it and he told me to feed him, I just, I just say we're going to put it in his hand and keep it in his exact hands and, and let's see what happens. We're going to ride, we're gonna ride the horse that got us in. Coach, this is a program that up until a couple years ago, the standard was 1-9, and 0-10. In two short years, you brought OHS to the promised land of the state title. How are we able to do it and how are you able to get these kids to buy into what you were teaching? Uh, number one, I, I got in, man, when I first took this job, bro. Uh, Coach Brito, man, I got to give him his flowers, man. He uh, runs a little new program. Pretty much all these guys played in the program under him, man. He, he welcomed me with open arms, told me what, what, he, what kind of kids he had. I got out there, man, met the kids, and, and then with the rest was downhill. Got them into the program. I started them as freshmen. And then uh, just, just telling them, I used to tell them when they used to come watch the games, y'all don't want to be like this class. You know what I'm saying? When y'all become freshmen, y'all got to set yourself apart. This is the do's, this is the don't. A championship ball club, don't miss practice. Championship ball club, don't be late for practice. Championship ball club, practice like champions. In practice, so you know, I, I, we were selling that message to them since they was in the eighth grade, and then for those guys to come and just buy in and really just hit the ground running, uh, man, it, it just hats off to those guys. Coach, uh, so we had to say 291 yards rushing uh, from you guys. I know Zacchaeus and Deshaun did a big part in that, played a major role, but. What are your thoughts on the offensive line, the big five up front, and how they look? Man, I can't, I can't say enough about those guys, man. Uh, every time I uh, do any interviews, it's all about the trenches to me. Cause I'm, a, I'm a trench baby. You know, I'm a lineman by trade. So, you know, for those guys, Keegan Moulton, he's a senior. Joseph Milton, he's a senior. So, Kyrie Lambert, he's a senior. Uh, Chris Rito, he's a junior. He'll be back. And uh, Bryson Lewis, man. Uh, Trace DeFrio, CJ Bernard, those guys in and out, man. They, they know what we do. They, they believe what we're doing, and uh, we're victorious and champions. Marvo, I talked to you in the beginning of this playoff run. First thing you said to me, you want to see a different opposition team. You came and upset a lot of teams to get to this point and put it out tonight. What was the, what, how do you guys put that switch to, to start this, to start that playoff run? You just had, you just had everybody accountable, everybody had themselves accountable. So we just, I'll see. We just, yeah, here's another time. <laughs> Coach, I hate to bring down the celebration. There was a scary moment at the very beginning of the game. Can you talk a little about your players? What has happened? That was our ball boy, man. Uh, Logan uh, Hilliard. He caught a seizure on the sideline, man. So uh, for us to pull it out, man, bring it home for Logan, man. Uh, that says like he's, he's at every game. He's a kid. He cry when we cry. He's, he jump when we jump, man. He, he celebrates when we celebrate. So, man, uh, shout out and prayers up for Louie, man. Uh, back to some celebration. Coach, uh, <laughs> at the beginning of the season, you said that it's dome of us. I mean, to be here in this moment, to think about all that it took to get here, saying something like that and believing it, how, how good does it feel knowing that? Man, it feels good, man. I, uh, I almost feel like the great Muhammad Ali he always called the shots, man. Uh, but at the end of the day, bro, I, I just feel like that, bro. We put a lot of work in the time away from our family, they keep time away from their families. Uh, for us to, to get to the first round or the second round and get knocked out, that, that just don't, 
That's not the expectation. The expectation is to get to the dome, man. I mean, we want to win championships over here, every, you know, and, and that's what we're putting these kids, not only being champions on the field, but being champions off the field in life. Coach, on that last drive of when Ford pretty much put the game away, you kept looking up and down at the clock. It's four minutes left in the ball game. Was that the longest four minutes of your life? Yeah, but uh, I, I just wanted to reassure my coaches, hey, cool, this four minute drill, they don't need to get the ball back. It's whatever, I ever, whatever happened from that first, second, third down, or fourth down, we put the ball in their hands, cool, and, and, and with the ball, so, so happened we busted and they scored it and punched it in, and that was all she wrote after that. So kids, we talked a couple days ago about how you are, the chip on your shoulder, and as a number 12 seed, a lot of people kind of wrote you off. So now that you have uh, succeeded that goal, how does this moment feel? It's a shock. It really is a shock. It's crazy. Coach, we were we uh, we talked about the offense and the and the, and the run game. Can you talk about the, over here? Can you talk about the defense? Not necessarily minimizing in the large plays for the city and kind of really holding it down a bit. Well, we knew all uh, coming in, man. There was going to be school stuff. They do a lot of little stuff, double passes and stuff. We just didn't want to give up a, a, a big play because they thrive off momentum. You know what I mean? So we want to make them earn everything, work for everything. And uh, it kind of worked out for us, man. And most important, tackling the space because they're real good at open space. They're explosive. Uh, so we want to make sure we make the short tackle, don't give up, play everything in front of us. And it worked out for our favor. Question. Hey, Coach, I'm here. Um, so Cecilia scored 50 uh, whole more points in four of the last five games. What was the game plan coming to uh, tonight's, uh, today's game? And um, we have to say about the defensive performance tonight. Oh, man, I can't say enough. Uh, we preached this on defense. Defense won championships, man, and they showed up. Uh, but the game plan coming in was simple. Uh, let's keep Diesel bottled up. Uh, they pass the ball, tap, rally and tackle. You, and they said, don't, don't bust no coverages and make them earn everything. And for the most part, the box played well. We stopped the run for the most part. And uh, we didn't let him get going, man, because again, as he go to the office, he's going. So we pretty much took care of these. Hey, right over here. Look, I'm just for the players. I know you guys came into this business as usual, but you guys are going back to school, state champions. Talk about your emotions going, and you got this win, it's off your back, and you are going back home, state champions. Tell me how you feel. Coach Zachary, I think one of the things we've lost the shuffle here is the play of both your offensive and your defensive lines. The second week in a row, you won in the trenches, and as a result, you knocked off both your number one and number two seed to win a state championship. Tell us about the development of these lines, your offensive line, your defensive line, and how they were able to become so explosive at the right time of the season. Uh, that's a great question. I thought we picked at the right time, man. I think the Cecilia loss really helped us do that, man, and we really kind of found our way because we wasn't really a team who wasn't playing as a team who wasn't being our brother's keeper. But, man, the trenches, we real hard on, man. Shout out to Coach Alvin Theory, that's my old line coach. Uh, but for the most part, man, we hard on the trenches. I coach the trenches, cause I don't coach the trenches, and every day we put them through the probably the hardest practices, harder than anybody that practices with us. Uh, and we also send them to I gotta give Coach Ryder a little plug. The Nichols camp, uh, the lineman camp, we sit up there every year, man, uh, and they've been helping out big for us. Final question, Coach. Well, uh, I really have a question for the players. I mean, talk about this community coming out and support. I mean. Well, how's it feel to have almost the whole community supporting you throughout this whole run, and specifically here in the Dome? It means a lot to us and uh, the community because having us seeing all the people that can't support is.